Hello house lovers, and it is it's a chilly autumnal day in Melbourne, so you can all feel good about that. Come and see what I've been up to. But first, a quick look in the Chappelle Corby Memorial Courtyard, because ta-da, it is largely empty of all the stuff that was piled up in here, because I very cunningly got my first skip. It was a big moment in my life, not without its stresses, and here is how it played out. The skip arrived at seven, both the day before and the evening before. There were no spots out in front of the house. I was incredibly anxious, but I used the secret and I visualized the space and I got here at 6.30 in the morning and sure enough, there was a space in front of the house. So we got the skip delivered easily. So then the next thing I did was spend all morning schlepping everything into the skip. I filled it expertly I love a good pack and I packed that baby, let me just tell you, like there was no tomorrow. I could have done a hand luggage only trip around Europe with that if we could travel. And then it was picked up and all that rubbish has gone, but not things that are usable. As you know, I've been madly saving all the shower basins, the old lamps, the timber and the glass. But now let's go upstairs. A trying week physically for one such as I, who was the wrong side of 50, let's just say, but it has all been worth it because, oh, look at that light. Remember last week we were exploring the smallest room in the house? Well, look, I have made tremendous progress and oh, look who's behind me. Hello, Julia. Hello there. Julia is here scoping out my work to get a sense of how the light falls. Now that I have removed the partition that used to exist here, let's have a look. Here we are in the presidential suite, as you remember it, but panning to the left, ta-da, all of those walls and all of those partitions have gone. Well, nearly, I've still got to remove that. <laughs> <laughs> which is a rather large steel overhead fan. And I've still got to remove the tile floor and the Duchamp installation sink basin. So you can see there quite clearly, this was the old wall that had been demolished to make these rooms a little bit bigger. A lot of work, I think, for about 30 centimeters of extra floor space, but whatever. And here, so this is the wall of the little room, the smallest room in the house. And you can see that this was never brick. It, um, it has always been lath and plaster. And can you see the horse hair in that old plaster? We should do a DNA study on that horse hair and see what those horses were up to in 1874. You can also see now how the ceilings have been artificially lowered. So that is the original ceiling and coving, that sort of mustardy pink colour. And then you can see how that extra level has been put to lower the ceiling. Largely, I think, because it was cheaper and quicker and easier just to stick chip rock onto the old ceiling uh, because it was obviously starting to deteriorate and crack because um, there's no other use for it, really. There you are, and now you can see through to the staircase window, and the light is so beautiful, I have to say. This is how I went about it, and it was really actually quite physically tricky. Um, the older partition wall was very well built, and those plasterboard sheets weighed a ton, and the eucalypt timber that was the construction of it was also incredibly heavy and very long. So getting them out took a little bit of ingenuity. The partition that separated the two rooms actually was a little bit later and lighter made, lighter construction. The timbers on the inside were pine, so that was much easier to get rid of. And we have a date. Well, I think the wall that was built across here was probably done maybe in the 60s when a lot of other work was done in the house. But this partition that had divided this little room in half was dateable because artifact number whatever it is can you see that um, that the work had been approved on the 3rd of August 1984 so this wall was built across here in August of 1984 now we know should we preserve this in the, the museum of the house there we are house lovers what were you doing in August of 1984 
I was in year 11, up to no good, up to not much, in fact, loving the rhythmic soundtrack to the movie of the same name. Anyway, it's been a great week. I feel I've achieved a lot. Julia is very happy. The light looks fantastic. Next week, I'm not sure. I have got a few things to do here, so we'll see if that's worthy of your interest. Maybe I have something else to show you. Anyway, have a great week. I hope COVID madness is still going well wherever you are. Here in Melbourne, we're able to lift a few restrictions, which is great. Hence, Julia is in the house. Have a great week. Take care. Thank you for watching. Press like, press subscribe, because you know you want to, and I'll see you next week.